Amy's asking for advice. Where'd we go here? Do you have any advice on how to help old patients who develop tinnitus? So tinnitus is one of those extremely bothersome conditions that is not uncommon with mold and or Lyme disease. And it's simply due to the neuroinflammation, the inflammation in your head when people get uh, stuck with uh, in a moldy home and mold exposure, the inflammation in the head triggered by mycotoxins, which can be neurotoxic directly or just from systemic inflammation, whatever the cause and creates the problems in the head, the neurological problems, um, it can look like uh, migraines, it can look like uh, brain fog, memory recollection issues, uh, head pressure, it can affect your vision, it can uh, affect the optic nerves, it can affect your hearing, it can affect, uh, give you tinnitus, all these problems can come from the head and it can happen in the head and tinnitus is absolutely one of them. But as with any other symptoms from mold or any of those other neurological problems or brain inflammation problems, the, you know, the process of undoing that is the same for any other symptom from mold, which is make sure you've done an ERMI, you know what you're breathing in in your house. If you're breathing in high levels of toxigenic molds and mycotoxins, it's going to keep going. There's not for most people, for 99.9% .9 of people, maybe there's someone out there that found something that worked quick and easy for them. But for most people, there's not something that's going to all of a sudden take it away without doing all the other hard work of making sure the air is clean, of working on your foundational uh, detox and drainage support. Uh, the low hanging fruit for something like this is make sure you're getting your fatty acids. Are you on a good dosage of your omega-3? You can try phosphatidylcholine or serine uh, Prodrome has their, um, uh, what is theirs called, uh, Prodrome Glia, which helps calm down neural inflammation and actually help rebuild that myelin sheath on the nerves that gets worn down and uh, uh, just blows up neurological problems due to that inflammation wearing down that myelin sheath. Now, be warned, this is a very expensive bottle of a plasmalogen precursor. I'll put the link to it, but it is not cheap. I dare not even say the price out loud because it is so high. But there, those are three different things you can do. Uh, but you got to work on the basics. You know, it's just a symptom, just like anything else. So clean air, detox support, work on through your mold and gut protocol, and then make sure you're supporting your omega-3s, phosphatidylcholine or serine, and the prodrome glia to help target the neurological system directly and that should help. Hope that helps. Do you have questions about mold in your home or body? Book a consultation with Matt, aka The Mold Man, to guide your home and body to the next level of healing. 